I like to call my haiku haiku. What's haiku? So I have a few pieces here for you that I actually wrote this morning. Feathered clouds from the brush of God, white on blue. Feathered clouds from the brush of God, white on blue. And I have two more. It was a very uh, ambitious morning. Colored flowers, I lay on your grave, seeds of life. That was colored flowers, I lay on your grave, seeds of life. And I will end with graveside thoughts remembering you, prayers in flight. Graveside thoughts remembering you, prayers in flight. two sides to Nick, the spiritual side that was so creative, and the other side, a hard-nosed dealer or a hard-nosed ad man, that's, that was the other side. You couldn't believe they could get along, but they did. But the next Sunday, after that, in the third pew from the back, so sitting Nick Virgilio, and he came every Sunday for years, and he, he found an audience there that he met, found and said, you don't meet, meet Nick Virgilio, he, he wrestles himself into your arms, he, he just was so genuine, in fact he was like a child, showing you something he made and then he stayed at Sacred Heart he met wonderful people wonderful people he met he, he, he was introduced to the to the Elgin Diner it's a wonderful place I loved it I really loved it and I got to realize that the person who connected Nick to Sacred Heart and to a community that he enjoyed. But I just want you to know that out of darkness, out of the death, in, in, in some forgotten place in Vietnam, Larry Virgilio brought life to Sacred Heart with his brother, and he would come over every day, every day. And he would wash the dishes, and I couldn't get over the fact that Sacred Heart had a, not, uh, a noted poet washing the dishes. Uh, and there was a little girl, her name was uh, Amanda, and Nick would say to her in church, meet me, Amanda, on the veranda. And she was this size, she was up to, at that time, up to my knee. And when Nick died, she went to the funeral with her grandmother. And as they eased away from the cemetery and people were leaving, she said in a soft voice to Nick, she said, meet me on the veranda. It was last year that we had a blessing of expectant mothers at Sacred Heart. And Amanda went up to the altar to be blessed and the child would enter. And as she's coming down from the altar, I 
back and talk to come over. She came over to me and I said to her, Alanda, Alanda, meet me on the veranda. <laughs> and then this writer's house, which is dedicated to his memory and the spreading of his beautiful thoughts. So we're delighted with it and delighted with the work.